Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. In this video, I'm going to show you Lowe's Aquarium with what you're looking at here is a 7.5 gallon one that he has. I'll show a few of his aquariums that he sent me. Very nice. Okay, I will leave a time stamp below. So in case you just want to go right to the aquarium, you can. In this video, I'm going to uh, show you the six gallon aquarium and how I did the lighting. And I think you'll be interested in, in that. And uh, all that's coming up next, so let's get into it. Here's the stand. This is a stand you can buy from Azu, Reptazoo. Uh, those are just the names of them that you can buy. They're not that expensive. This one is the single light pendant light stand. They're made for uh, your reptiles, of course, but you can use them in the aquarium. They're not bad. They have like two different lengths you can buy. One's a shorter one, one's a taller one. I think here I got the taller one just to make sure uh, it was high enough, depending on the lamp I wanted to use. Of course, I'm using the Kessel lamp only because it's available and I already had it. And as you can see, I just wire, wire tied it onto the stand. Quite easy. But uh, this is something that now, no, I would not use this Kessel light. Personally, it's a little too expensive for a little six gallon aquarium. But since I've already have it, all I needed was the stand. I'm going to use it for the little six gallon tank. And like I said, way, way too expensive for a six gallon tank. Remember if I did videos, uh, when I did my videos of the antique tank using this light, it wasn't quite enough light for that antique aquarium. It, uh, left and right of the antique aquarium was dark. But for this tank, it will be great. But you know, if you think about it, this is only a 12 by 12 tank. I put it underneath it. And for this price, woo, that's, uh, that's a little hard to swallow. So what I would highly suggest is you go out and buy a pendant like this, which I show in my other videos, and then just go out and buy yourself a, what they call ultra bright light from GE and put it in there. Now they do sell smaller bulbs than the bulb I have in here, which you don't need a equivalent of a 300 watt bulb in a little bitty six gallon aquarium. But they do make smaller ones that are cheaper. You know, maybe they're like uh, 150 watt or 200 watt and they will do just fine. But th this is what I would go with, something like this, a pendant. So the stand it's sitting on is a stand I got from Amazon and it's waterproof. So if you uh, want something that looks decent, you know, it's a faux wood. It's got a covering over it. So if you splash water on it, and really it wasn't a bad price, and it does have legs that you can level it. Now, what I did is I took some craft board, uh, a.k.a. foam board, and this is the black. It comes in all different colors. And I found out that the foam board is just a little thicker than the stand, that uh, that leg you see poking out. So all I did was measure it and cut it out. So the aquarium will sit on top of the foam board. I've used this foam board for my 90 gallon. It works great. It comes in pretty big sheets. And I used three of these foam board for my... Um, Goldfish Aquarium out in the Lanai because that tank bottom is so terrible that uh, I want to make sure that the aquarium sits and seats itself so it doesn't wind up bursting the aquarium in the future. But this this works out good. And because it's a little higher than the plate, you'll be able to slide the plate back in order to maintenance and then slide it into position when you're done. So you're not going to lose its position. But uh, it, it is a uh, pretty good plate 
and foam board combination to sit the tank on. Okay, this is the tank completely set up. It is sitting on the foam board. There is the box filter. Of course, you're not going to use a uh, Kessel light. It would be too expensive. But I like to use the gang valves that are brass. And this one's stainless steel. Bought it off of Amazon, of course. Like I buy everything else. And I like them because they they last forever. I have some that are 40, 50 years old I'm still using to this day. But the stand itself is a nice stand. You just go to Amazon and see if you can't find a stand. Or you can go to uh, Wayfair. That's right. Wayfair also sells stands like this. And it's not extremely expensive. And it makes a nice aquarium stand, as you can see. But this is it. It's all ready to go. It didn't take very long. But like I said, you would probably use a pendant light versus the light I'm using. And I'm going to get the water into it, my little decorations. I'm going to get some of the plants from a basket that was in the antique aquarium and I'll get it all set up for you. But that's about it. Now I can still move the light in and out. If I want to move the light back a little bit, I can to do work on the aquarium. Plus the aquarium also has a, a lid to it. So it should work out pretty good. Okay, so here's where I'm going to get my plants from my crypt from. As you remember, this was the experiment. This is the basket that open cell had nothing but kitty litter in it. Hopefully I can, without trying to shock the plants too much, but I don't think that's going to work very good. I'll probably really shock the plants and I wonder if they're going to like uh, get crip rot or something else, but it's free. I'll try it. We'll see how it works out in the small little six gallon aquarium. So in order to establish the aquarium right away, because I need to put my bed is back in here, I decided to use the Fritzine 7. And this seems to work. I know a lot of uh, aquarium shops, you know, pet stores have used it to cycle their tanks instantly so they can start selling fish without, you know, losing fish. But anyhow, this is uh, within, I would say, an hour after setting up. And this looks like, a, well, it's pretty cloudy and stuff. The cloudiness looks like more or less a bacteria bloom, probably from the Fritz sign. And then about an hour later, I took another photo of it. And as we all can see, it is a little lighter than it was. So as an hour passed, it looks a little better than uh, when it was first set up. Now, this is very common with new tanks that they may turn white like this. And this is about seven hours after the setup. I thought I would just do a sound test for you right next to the aquarium, because a lot of people say about bubbles. We're getting about, I would say, 55 dB of loudness right next to the tank. It's only when you get next to, and remember this isn't just the bubbles from the tank also the Kessel light is giving off a little bit of noise too okay here I am standing about a meter away from the tank and as you could see it's a uh, about 50 DB which is considered to be quiet anything under 60 DB is considered to be quiet so it's it's not too bad with the bubbles and the little fan going in the Kessel light Okay, so here's the aquarium within two weeks, completely cleared up. I did a water change the first week. I did a water change yesterday, and this morning it's completely clear. Everything's fine. As you can see, the crip right there on your left-hand side, it didn't do so well at all. It kind of is disintegrating, <laughs> and I kind of thought that it going through a lot of shock trying to pull it out of that open cell basket was a little too much for it. And the male beta did not make it like the females did. 
I don't know, maybe too much stress. He seemed to just hang at the top. And then within uh, a day, the male betta passed away. But anyhow, the three females, as you can see, they're doing okay, swimming around. They're not really not fighting. They seem to like the little larger aquarium than they did the the other aquarium I had out of the lemonade container. And they're doing great. Even though there's no heater, they're doing great. Okay, I want to thank uh, Lo. I hope I'm saying his last name co correctly. He's from Malaysia. And this is his 70-gallon tank. He has several tanks I'll, I'm going to show you. And as we all can see, it's a beautiful tank with gorgeous fish. And he has a breeding cone over there, so I guess he expecting them to breed for him. But all the pictures I'm going to show you, all the tanks use plenums. And I will tell you what he said. But uh, it, it's, it's, for me, it's nice to see the people in other countries <clears throat> watching my YouTube channel and implementing what I'm saying to everybody. Because it's nice to see that they're successful. Well, one thing I did want to bring up is a lot of people over in other countries are using zealite. And they say the zealite seems to kind of um, peter out after about a year, like with their BCB baskets or something. That could be because zealite, zealite's a little different material, but the zealite isn't that expensive, where if you feel that you have a BCB basket and you made it out of zealite, and maybe the zealite has, it's not doing what you think it should have, you can always take one of your baskets and put new zealite in it and see if that is your problem. Is it because the old zealite kind of wore out after a year. I mean, it, it would be like if I made a BCB basket and I put kitty litter, then after a year it didn't work. Big deal. You know, I mean, the price of kitty litter is really quite inexpensive. So if something did go wrong. But I've had uh, kitty litter, not zealite, kitty litter lasts for over 30 plus years. So that I know. Zellite, on the other hand, I do not know, but I do know from uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Australia, uh, use zellite. And I don't know what the shelf life is for an aquarium. I'm kind of thinking that from my feedback that I've gotten back, it's about a year, and then it may need to be replaced, which you may want to think about that if you make three baskets that after about a year you replace one of them and then, you know, space them out. But that's because zealite is not the same as kitty litter. And it seems like it works for a while and then it may stop working as, as from what I'm understanding. However, if all you had to do was just replace it once a year, I wouldn't think that's a big deal since it's being sold as kitty litter and it seems to work as a BCB basket. Like I said, I've used kitty litter for years, 30 years straight without ever changing it. Zellite is something that's going to be a little different. But just keep that in mind that when you make BCB baskets that maybe they won't work as good after a year. But what's the big deal? Just pull it out, empty it, put new zealite in it, rinse it off, and put it back. What's the big deal? I I don't I don't see a big deal out of it, but maybe some people may think it's a big deal. But I know kitty litter has lasted. So let's get on to the aquariums here, and I'm going to read to you what Lo says. Uh, I am an aquar uh, aquarium hobbyist from Malaysia. And I have been watching all your videos on your YouTube channel for some time. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and expertise freely with other hobbyists around the world. I'm very much inspired by your videos and have reset up my tanks 
using the method that you have shown. So apparently he had his tank set up and he redid them. That, uh, I've heard that happened with another fella. He had 30 aquariums and he redid them all. Okay, and he's very happy. Before, I just put gravel at the bottom of the tank, he states. But I have now reset my 7.5 gallon and my 25 gallon tank with a plenum and with BCB filter embedded in the substrate and also added BCB inside the canister filters. I can't find the right type of kitty litter in my country, so I'm using zellite gravel instead with red clay soil, Malaysian laterite, to make the BCB baskets. Okay, I know other people from Thailand, Malaysia, they have done the same thing. That's why I did want to bring up about zellite. Uh, as a plenum, I would say I would not worry about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because a plenum is not a BCB basket. Because you're using a slow-moving plenum, it should last indefinitely. If you're using the baskets, if they seem to not be working or whatever, it's zellite. So I don't know the characteristics that if zellite kind of peters out after a year. But I know as a plenum, you should have no problems. Because a plenum can be made out of normal gravel. Okay, gravel does not have any benefit to it. It's inert. So you can make a plenum out of gravel, 100% gravel, or sand, let's say, which is not the same as kitty litter and zellite. I just want to make that statement. I have also built a new 4-foot, 70-gallon tank set up with plenum installed using fluval stratum aqua soil and BCB uh, make made from zellite, laterite, packed inside magic filter socks, embedded in the aquarium gravel. I updated my discus from the 25-gallon to my new 70-gallon tank, as they have outgrown the 25-gallon tank, as you can see by the picture, yeah. With a plenum and BCB installed, my tank water are always crystal clear, and the ammonia Nitrite and nitrate readings are always at zero parts per million. I think the anoxy filtration of the plenums and BCB are working very well. And he's attached a video. I will also have that uh, below his videos. I think he has three videos of his aquariums, so you can click on a link and watch the three videos of his three different tanks that I am showing in my video. And you can watch, it's a, it's a little video. The videos are, they have no talking. They're basically just show you the tank, movement, and music, which is nice. So if you want, you can click on the three links below. I'll put them in to the comment section below. So you can do that in the video. And you can go watch his videos. It's a, and then he ends with, thank you for sharing and looking forward to more of your videos on YouTube. Okay, so that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank Lo for, from Malaysia for sending me pictures of his aquarium. Uh, I think it's very nice. I did watch his little videos that he has, so you can get a better idea of his tanks. Every one of his tanks, of course, use a plenum as you as he states his 75 gallon tank and his fish are, of course very beautiful i can't believe he had that many fish in a 25 gallon tank but uh, apparently he did but anyhow that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it me setting up the six gallon aquarium hope it gave you some ideas of if you want to set up a tank any size tank actually this applies to any size tank as you can see by Lowe's aquariums he's got that 70 gallon aquarium and you can see by his pictures how he set it up the same way as I basically set this up for you step by step and of course for lighting uh, you can use a can light of course you can use a strip light that's entirely up to you how much you want to spend so until next time this is Dr. Novak happy fish keeping thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel